Hey there, I'm Rob Reed, owner of Bison Fire Protection, and welcome to this week's Bison Bit. So today I want to talk about pivoting versus improving. And I have to tell you that while pivoting has been a big buzzword lately, is pivoting what is really the best thing for a company? I'm going to say in some cases it is. I mean, if we look back at, you know, the early 1900s and you were the buggy whip company, there was a time to pivot there. And I'm sure a lot of that is going on right now with the circumstances that we're living in. Sometimes pivoting is 100% the right thing to do, but it can also be very disruptive. Pivoting can also put a lot of stress on your staff. It can be very expensive. I know I've done some pivots. Sometimes they've paid, sometimes they haven't. Many other companies haven't. There's a good time to pivot. Sometimes there's a bad time to pivot. But how about improvement? Why don't we take a minute and think about that one? You know, improvements can be everything from streamlining your existing operation, bringing in better processes and procedures, and more importantly, supporting your people. And that could be everything from training courses, and training becomes a technical thing. You know, can your technicians be better in the field? Can your IT be better? Could your admin and accounting teams be better and stronger? What could you be doing to improve all of your internal work and your customer service? Because if you're in a service business, similar to what we're in, if you're not providing service, you're in the wrong business. It really is just that simple. Now take some time and think, is it less disruptive to improve your staff, improve what you're doing, and tell me that they wouldn't feel better when they look at you and say, you know what, that guy, that guy right there, he's investing in me. And that's important. People want to feel wanted. They want to feel valued. They need to be appreciated. Sometimes making a drastic change doesn't give them that message. Improvements always give that message. Change is going to happen, whether it's an improvement change or a pivot change. How disruptive do you want to be to your business? Think about where you want to go. Think about why you want to go there. What's the purpose of making the change? If pivot's the right thing to do, and it is sometimes, then do it. But if you want to just improve what you're already doing, get better at it, shine brighter than the next guy, then invest in yourself and what you're already doing. Invest in your people. You'll never go wrong with that one either. Have a great day.